So this is my binary speed control exercise. Fairly similar to, say, J.G. Rikaz's attack control. Um, it, there's a, there's a, a ton of different names. Uh, you can make it as complex or as simple as you need to. I like uh, a very simple exercise. So for this one, I've got two targets. I've got one target that's at about three yards away from me. I've got another target that's about 25 yards away from me. In this case, about 20 yards from me. And the goal of this is to be as aggressive with as minimal confirmation as needed on the close target and then being as controlled as need to be to guarantee alphas to a particular spot on that far target and being able to make that physical and visual shift on demand right now. Um, I treat this as an eight round exercise. So starting either near, then two shots to far, then immediately back to the near target and then ending on the far or vice versa, drawing to the far, transitioning to the near, then back to the far and then finishing on the near. So there are a couple of things to really work, uh, to kind of be working on in this particular exercise. One is to transition the gun as immediate as possible as soon as the second shot is perceived in lift, right? Or as soon as the second shot is fired, you're moving that gun to the next task or the next target. The couple of diagnostic things to think about here, and I always call this like dragging your excess baggage with you from one target to the next. Meaning, as aggressive as I can be on the three yard target, I've got to leave some of that aggression, especially when it comes to trigger control on the three yard target and have to completely isolate what the 25 yard target gives me. Well, at the same time, if I'm coming off the 25 yard target to the three yard target, I've got to leave the excess behind on that 25 yard target and try not to drag the confirmation level or the control level into the three yard target. So I want to be hyper aggressive where I need to be and I need to be super controlled and deliberate where I have to be as well. And I have to make that shift immediately. Okay, so I've got my timer showed up here, or set up. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate kind of what I'm talking about here. So on the three yard target, I'm looking for just minimal amounts of confirmation. Um, if we were to break the confirmation levels down from confirmation one, confirmation two, confirmation three, Traditionally on this three yard target being wide open, I'm looking for confirmation one to confirmation half. But I don't want to overdrive and try to be so aggressive on this on this target here next to me at three yards that I'm not guaranteeing alphas either. So I need to make sure that my structure is 100%, otherwise it's very easy to over swing or to loosen the grip trying to rip fast splits and end up with two shots that aren't in the same spot on the target. But at the same time, I need to be very controlled. And on that 25 yard target, I probably need to see that level three confirmation. I need a dot parked to the center of the target or as minimally as possible, I need to see enough information to ensure that I am, I'm painting those shots directly within my margins that I've selected on that target. You'll also notice there's no discerning marks on the targets. I'm not using markers. I'm not using paint, uh, pasters or anything like that. I have to be deliberate at choosing the spot. So here we go. We're going to do three to 25, back to three, back to 25. So eight shots total. Stand by. I've got one Charlie coming from the first two shots out of the gun. Second two shots, I picked a spot a little bit better and settled the gun correctly on the bat. I've got all alphas down there at 25 yards. If you listen to the cadence, you'll notice obviously very aggressive on the close target and as controlled as I need to be to ensure that I'm seeing the confirmation level. What I don't want to have happen looks something kind of like this. And this is kind of the demo of what not to do. This is what I see a lot of students or a lot of shooters actually do though. So I'm going to shoot the same order again so you'll see it. So you notice there's an excessive amount of confirmation at 25 yards and an extreme amount of confirmation 
at the three yard target. Now the three yard target, I did get a lot of confirmation. I was able to plug the four shots right in the center of the target, but it came at the expense of, I was ready to shoot and I just didn't press the trigger, okay? The opposite end happens. Here's another diagnostic that we look at that can cause a problem as well. And that is carrying the aggression baggage from the three yard target directly into the 25 yard target and trying to go faster than we can actually confirm. And here's what that looks like. Confirmation level at the three yard target, primo. Confirmation level at the 25 yard target, I was trying to match the same level of splits and aggression and at 25 yard targets, it didn't work out. To the point that as minimal confirmation as I had at three yards where I was barely seeing just color confirmation from it, turned into zero confirmation on the last two shots. And I think I ended up with two shots that are not even gonna be hung on paper. And that's where we're trying to just push the speed and aggression purely all the time without bringing in the raw control. The other thing we've got to make sure we're measuring on this too, or, or measuring physically, is going to be the amount of confirmation needed on the trigger matches the amount of visual confirmation that we need on each target. So at 25 yards, I'm probably not wanting a confirmation one like slap through the trigger. I need to prep and press to ensure that I do not disturb the amount of sight confirmation I have on that target to ensure success. So now I'm gonna shoot it from far to near and we're gonna see what that difference looks like. Stand by. You'll see the transition from the far to the near target is ramped up immediately. I'm seeing just the amount of confirmation I need at three yards to accept alphas in the center of that target. While at the same time, the transition from the three yard target to the 25 yard target is gonna take a little bit longer because I need to make sure that I'm confirming where the dot's at on that target to make sure that, that I'm also prepping and pressing the trigger to ensure the success on that 25 yard target and then immediately getting back to the three yard target again. So that is my binary throttle control exercise. And I hope it really, I, I, I do expect it to help you a lot along the way. Okay, so a couple of things to look out for also on this are gonna be drag-ons and drag-offs where you're not giving us enough confirmation to stop the gun in the appropriate spot on the target. We kind of know what that looks like at 25 yards and it's very easy to not to get to, to surpass looking for a perfect spot to place the dot and just accepting dot on brown, send it. And we really need to be hyper-focused on making sure that we're centering the dot to the middle of that target. Three yard target, it's very easy to just then disregard a predominant spot on the target. And then just as soon as we see brown, that's what we accept. And we end up with drag on shots. I'll show you what I mean. And we're gonna do one shot at a time, just for, just for ammo's sake. So in this case, trying to rip really fast transitions to the three yard target. You may not be able to see it from the camera from back here, but my shots are both just to the right edge of the A zone and they're not centered. On the 25 yard target, I've got one shot hanging just off the right side of the target. The next shot, I overswung the target completely because I didn't stop the dot. As soon as I saw brown and I saw the green from my dot just kind of streaking across it, I waited to the intersection point and just fired the shot. I didn't wait for a stopping point to do so. So now I'm going to do it again, only this time I'll show you what the opposite looks like. And I've got enough to do it again. solid alphas down there at the 25 yard target but both three yard targets I didn't stop the gun appropriately to the middle and I ended up stopping the gun 
past the A zone, and as soon as I caught Brown and I saw my streak just across Brown, I tried to time the shots just someplace into the target, and I end up with two shots over swinging the A zone. So this is where the over swings and the under swings come from when you don't give yourself the appropriate amount of visual confirmation as well as the amount of physical confirmation. The physical confirmation needs to look a little something like this with the trigger. Let me know. pull the gun or pull the camera over here off to the side so you can see what I'm talking about here. So three yards, I can get away with a slap on the trigger. Right? But at 25 yards, I need a pre press, press, press in order to ensure success to make sure that I don't move the sights when I'm trying to appropriate the trigger press on it. So anyway, those are a couple of diagnostic things to look out for while you just kind of work in this drill. There is no par time. There is no set or dedicated time. You shouldn't be looking to chase splits on certain things. What you're looking for is the appropriate amount of confirmation. And again, you're building kind of those pattern recognition. What's it like to go as fast as and aggressive as I can at three yards? And just what can I get away with minimally, but to ensure success on the 25 yard target so that I'm not over confirming either the trigger or especially over confirming the vision when I don't need to.